My name is Chidom Sota. Um, I work with an organization called Localization Lab, um, and I'm based in Harare, Zimbabwe. So Localization Lab um, essentially works to address um, ethnocentric bias um, online and just tries to even out um, the experience of using technology, tools, and resources and makes them a lot more accessible to people in different contexts around the world, um, but with a particular focus on the global majority, which is the people that are most marginalized and don't have as much access to tools and resources, but also face the highest amounts of censorship, surveillance, and the like. There's a lot of projects that we support, I would say. Um, UNI is one of them. Um, Siphon is another. The more clear way to state what we support is mostly languages um, or other projects that work around internet freedom, um, access to information, um, that do circumvention as well. Those are primarily the tools we support. While I was still kind of working with Digital Society of Africa, um, when it was still Digital Society of Zimbabwe, that's when we started looking at UNI as a tool and just having interest in running tests and trying to see um, how, how exactly it works. In 2019, um, when the shutdown happened and the disruption, that's when we really began to see the power of UNI because a lot of people kept popping up and saying, it's blocked on WhatsApp, um, Twitter is blocked, Facebook is blocked. Which part of the country are you in? And people would identify a part of the country they were in and what was happening then. So that's when it really became a powerful resource. Um, in terms of what motivated us to bring UNI as one of the localization lab projects, I wouldn't be entirely sure, but I think it's, it's power to measure when there's a disruption or a throttling of the internet and just being able to notify people and therefore giving some sort of leverage in terms of proactiveness to other VPNs, other circumvention tools in terms of what they can do to ensure that they're providing support in a, pan in a country currently um, experiencing shutdown. I think another thing is just being able to provide that evidence that a shutdown is happening um, and for us wanting to make sure that it's not just available in English or in another majority language, but it's also available in local context, because it means that those people in those local contexts are also able to provide that evidence that a shutdown is happening and it's irrefutable because it's uni. For us in 2019, initially they were denying it and they were saying, no, we haven't disrupted the internet because it's working in this part of the country, but we were actually able to produce evidence and say, look, you have disrupted the internet and this is the evidence. We can run a test again and again and again. And so just having the test, us being able to run the test ourselves and produce the evidence and then add the backup that was coming from internet service providers like um, our major service provider, Econet, saying they were instructed to disrupt the internet, then strengthened the case. And this is why it's important, because you provide the baseline for people to start talking about, no, there's actually a shutdown happening, or there's a disruption happening. Um, and it's been interesting to watch that, okay, it's not just Uni Explorer anymore, or Uni that we run on mobile, but they're working on a desktop version. They're working on Uniran. They're working on a version where you can test from anywhere in the world. So it's giving even more power to, let's say, individuals in the diaspora that have an interest in what's happening in elections in their home country. They're able to test and run whether there's a block or a disruption happening at that point in time. So just developing the tools further has been very interesting to see. And it would be interesting to see how those tools are adapted and used and what the learnings of the UNI team will be um, given that there are so many elections that are upcoming and likely will come with a couple of internet disruptions and shutdowns in the process.